Good afternoon. How's it going? I hope that you are having a beautiful day. My day started out pretty great. Got to go out to breakfast with my husband. That's the advantage of him working from home is I get to have time with him almost whenever I want and his flexible schedule. So that is such a beautiful gift. While we were out, I was noticing this sign right outside the window that was saying, keep your politics off our bodies. Abortion is healthcare. And it was just glaring at me through the window. <laughs> and I was trying to focus on just being there, having a good time with my husband, cause I was, and it was a wonderful time and the yummy food and delicious coffee. So that was keeping me there. But I was feeling that, just the spite behind that sign. I was feeling the intensity of that sign, the intentionality of that sign. And I am someone who gets provoked by those things. And so I was really just trying to figure out with my husband, because he also noticed it and we, our first reaction is reactionary, you know? And I realized as I'm processing through it, okay, my first temptation is go cross off abortion as healthcare and write what I think it, I want to say. I won't tell you what I was going to say. But in my spirit, the Lord is saying, is that in love? And it was like, e maybe. <laughs> but I had to really think about it, you know, and keep my heart in check. Ruslan was saying too, you know, I was thinking about what I could do to that sign. And he said, and then it hit me. It's working. What they want, the response that they want is triggering us so it's working so there would be no point in responding in kind and i had i was just really thinking about it and then as we're walking back to the car i noticed this man with one very swollen leg he was walking he had walked by when we were sitting there this way and i noticed him and then we were going back to the car he was walking right in front of us and i thought lord are you wanting me to pray for this man and I really felt it and I almost reached forward to pray for him and I just began doubting. Every doubt you could think of in the world popped into my head and every thought of why I shouldn't pray for him was right there. Tell me how much I should not pray for this man, etc. And then I said to my husband, he, he noticed I was lagging behind and I was like, he was like, what's going on? I'm like, I'm kind of thinking I need to pray for that guy. And he was just like, hmm. And so I took it as another good excuse. Oh, my husband doesn't really want me to. So I have to go with my husband. And inside I'm knowing, but I really need to go pray for that guy. So I'm wrestling, you know, and then we get in the car and I didn't touch him. I didn't ask him. And then he stops right next to our car and I'm like, okay. And then I like, I'm like, if Ruslan goes that way, I will stop and reach out. And Ruslan goes that way. And so I was like, oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to pray for him. <laughs> and meanwhile, inside, I'm like, I was supposed to pray for him. Ah! But I'm learning how to obey God, but not give in to that fatalistic fearful thinking that I used to have, like, it's all up to you, you know, you have to save everyone in the world, anyone who comes across your path, you need to pray for, you know, blah, 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 and it's a very demanding, religious, obligatory voice, and it's like, ugh, so I went far from that to, I'm free, I have boundaries, it's okay to be a Christian and have boundaries, but I missed just stepping out into things in, in a childlike faith, I've missed it and I felt the Lord challenging me back into that in my freedom now. So there's excitement and joy, but there's still the the risk, the stepping out in that. It's uncomfortable. It's awkward. What if he doesn't get healed? 
what if he thinks I'm silly? What if he's a person that's on drugs and he just starts yelling at me? You know, all, every single possible excuse was just right there to meet me, greet me. Just boom, 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 boom. And that's actually why I wrote that post today that doubt moves at the speed of light. I could not believe how many resisting thoughts I had in that moment, literally minute few minutes of considering that. So as we're driving home, Ruslan just said, I just want you to know, I'm totally fine with you reaching out and praying for those people. I may get a little uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And I just started crying. Like, Lord, I so want to see this, that we can truly just step out into this healing. And it's been a place of, um, contending for so many years. I absolutely believe God can heal. I've seen him heal. I've seen him healing way more in certain ministries and not in others. And I don't have the answers. I don't have the full understanding. And I don't know that I ever will. But I truly am willing to step out and believe God and take that risk, take that step of faith into something very uncomfortable and do it. I truly have come so far that the fear of man is not the ultimate thing holding me back. But now it's just the faith to step out, even if someone does healed and I look foolish or whatever is just sad to me. I want to see this break open. I know where to walk in signs and wonders. I know that Jesus heals today. I absolutely have not one single doubt of that. Came home and I processed it with the Lord and he ended up actually revealing about the sign and just my reaction to that. And a lot of the people that believe that abortion is okay have a similar belief system in their life. And that kind of belief is very much just humanistic reasoning. And it's absolutely not considering that there is a God and that they have a value and a purpose. So it that sort of thinking is so hard for me to have compassion for because it's so illogical. Does it make sense to someone who knows that God is real? He's alive. And I have a really hard time having compassion for those that are so justified in their hate towards us who feel like it's wrong to kill a baby. It just doesn't make sense. But I can go to God and I was feeling the conviction of Lord, I want to have greater compassion. I want to love the people I don't understand. I want to see them the way you see them. Please change my heart. I can see the error of their ways in certain ways. But I still have a heart that I don't see all the way, Lord. Please purify my heart. Cleanse me. Convict me in the areas that I'm still arrogant, that I'm still thinking that I'm right and they're wrong. I need your perspective. I don't want to stop at that place of coming and answering in kind. Like, obviously, they are responding in hate and anger and fear. And I know that's not the response I want. Absolutely not. So I ended up feeling a shift in my heart and really clearly recognizing I need to take captive that thought the moment it comes when I am wanting to respond in kind because that does absolutely nothing. And hate doesn't drive out hate. We know that. So I am wanting to go back to the drawing board with my heart. And I'm just asking again, you know, Lord, continue to soften my heart. The goal is that people would feel love 
and know that you, God, are love. And man, has he done a work in me over the years. I love people more than I have ever loved people. And it's truly a miracle in a lot of ways because I'm a very black and white thinker and literal. And it's, I've had to root out my heart issues. Well, God has, because I didn't think I had any issues. <laughs> Anyway, have a beautiful day. I hope that challenges you and reminds you, you are not alone. It is not easy to respond in love. We cannot do it on our own. You can't just decide, I wanna respond in love now. And boom, you just do it, so easy. No, we actually need the transformation in our hearts and our minds to come under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And only he can truly transform us from the inside out. Not a religious smile and a pretending that things don't matter or not speaking up because we're loving people. That's religion. I'm talking about true transformation.